Torben Sondergaard is the founder of the Last Reformation, a worldwide movement which seeks to return Christianity to the Book of Acts. He also began the Jesus Center in Denmark, which trained disciples from 30 nations to spread this message around the world. But Torben and his family fled Denmark this year like refugees fleeing a war zone, leaving with only what they could carry in eight suitcases. The attacks against the ministry began in 2016, when the Jesus Center was investigated by six different Danish government agencies for everything from food safety to unpaid taxes. Officials found nothing wrong. Then last year, the government began to investigate the Sondergaard family when they began homeschooling. When they put their daughter back into public school, the investigations didn't stop. But the worst was yet to come. Torben Sondergaard's life and ministry would take a dramatic turn when Danish TV approached him and said it wanted to do a profile of his ministry. It sounded like it could be very positive. It wasn't. Danish TV sent not only a film crew, it also sent two undercover reporters into Torben's ministry. One who said he wanted to follow Jesus and was even baptized, and another who pretended to be mentally ill. The result was a news documentary called God's Best Children. It lumped Torben in with other so-called radical Christian ministries that it had serious moral or ethical failures, or even criminal activity. When I saw that, I was like, I'm, I'm finished now. No one will trust me again. Torben watched in horror as he saw himself depicted on national TV as a liar, as an abuser of children and the mentally unstable, through healings and so-called exorcisms, and as a quack who takes medicine away from the sick, something he says he's never done. I've been doing ministry for 18 years. I never had problem. I never had a complaints. Not like, of course, there have been misunderstanding. People have maybe got hurt and so on, like every other church and every other ministry. But when these programs started, it just changed the whole atmosphere in Denmark. We were like, we, we need to leave Denmark. This is not going to stop. It didn't. Torben became a punching bag on Danish TV as guests on news shows pushed for a new law against Christians who allegedly inflicted mental violence on children through healings and deliverance. And, and then the interview the state shows priests talking about that we were the evil people coming as a predator to find the weak animals at, who were sick and eat them and how we wanted to take people into the cult. Then the demands grew in the media for Torben to be investigated for the crime of quackery. And I just saw there that I was already guilty in the mind of the politi politician. I was already guilty in the mind of the people for something I had nothing to do with. Torben was now a marked man, viewed as a dangerous person by many of his countrymen worried that he would lose his children. And we have people starting to call us. I say that you have to leave Denmark now because they're not going to stop. They, they want to continue getting you down. So we, we bought a ticket to America. And uh, two days later, we, we had packed eight suitcases and, and we left with our kids to America. And uh, yeah, and it was it was it was very stressful. And uh, now our center is closed. We had a eighty thousand square feet center, and Denmark is closed down. Our work is closed down. Everything is closed down. The Sonderguards have appealed to the U.S. government for political asylum. Torben has testified in a sworn affidavit that if he is returned to Denmark, he risks being imprisoned and having his minor daughter removed from their family. The Danish press agency has ruled that Torben was misled by the journalist who made the documentary. But there's no government agency in Denmark that can give Torben his reputation back or guarantee his freedom if he returns. Torben now waits to see if his asylum request will be approved. And he said he dreams of starting a Jesus center like he had in Denmark here in America. And I believe through all of this, I also have a message to people in America that we need to be prepared. We need to be alert to say that they will never have it in America. That is a lie. I, I, I have said the same in Denmark. This is going to come to America. Dale Hurd, CBN News.